another voice and there's been a fundraising that has taken place by Blue Planet Environmental Solutions. Close to $35 million from Impact Investor, the investment fund for developing countries. Prashant Singh is the co-founder and CEO who's now joining us on the show. Good to have you on board. Prashant, let's talk about the fundraise details. How much have you raised over the investors? Sure. Uh, so this uh, fundraise is for 35 million bucks uh, where uh, uh, IFU, uh, the Danish BFI, has uh, uh, invested us uh, our investments in uh, Singapore, where uh, we'll be utilizing those funds uh, for scaling up our landfill mining business and e-waste business in India. So what is the game plan then? What do you plan to do with the utilization of these funds? Yeah, so we already are uh, the largest uh, landfill mining uh, player in Asia. And uh, we have, uh, we are bringing a lot more uh, technology driven execution. Uh, we are investing in R&D and uh, uh, we are expanding uh, uh, our presence in uh, multiple other uh, locations in India and abroad. So the, these funds will help us uh, uh, solidify our position there. And also to uh, uh, make sure that we are ready for our uh, future uh, up, upcycling of uh, te uh, technological upcycling that we need to do uh, for our sector uh, for years to come. And given that waste volumes are estimated to almost double by the year 2030, how critical do you think the issue is for India and what will be the company's role in solving this problem? Yeah, uh, absolutely correct. I think the waste generation as India, uh, Indian economy is growing uh, at such a fast pace, and there's a lot of urbanization which we foresee in the very near future. The waste generation, be it uh, uh, for municipal solid waste, e-waste, uh, uh, industrial waste, plastic waste, every way, every uh, kind of waste will uh, uh, get increased. Uh, but with that comes an opportunity where we are focusing on uh, uh, leveraging uh, technology-driven execution, of, both for processing and upcycling. So we do, uh, we truly believe that uh, our focus on uh, leveraging technology for processing will surely uh, become uh, a main reason for us to solve that problem at the core, rather than uh, creating uh, and not able to solve uh, that just by uh, dumping it in the landfills or in uh, various other aspects of it. And are you currently profitable? Uh, what kind of revenue run rate do you enjoy? Uh, I mean, we uh, are one of the largest players uh, in uh, uh, Asia. We have the processing capacity of uh, more than uh, 20,000 tons a day. We have processed more than 12 million tons of waste over the last uh, five years. Uh, and we are profitable with the specific numbers. Unfortunately, we uh, uh, try to make it confidential. Okay, fair enough. One pro, but let's talk about the long-term gain plan for the company. Yeah, so as far as uh, our long-term goal by 2030, uh, we plan to become one of the significant contributors for uh, CO2 emissions avoidance. So we uh, plan to avoid more than 40 million tons of CO2 emissions uh, going into the environment uh, by 2030, which is uh, around 4% of uh, India's goal of a billion tons. So we continue to uh, stay focused on a circular economy ecosystem, uh, building sustainable solutions and to ensure that we are able to uh, uh, make tangible progress as far as CO2 emissions are concerned.